Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas. <clears throat> oh, man, my voice has been hurting for a squirt in this... this uh, why did I go that route? My voice has been uh, sore for a while, and we're probably going to tone it down a little bit just in order to um, make sure that I don't completely shoot my voice. I do have... <coughs> <coughs> See, that's a great start, isn't it? Oh my god, the rasp. I do have some Ricolas over here to my right, which have been quite helping. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, maybe use some of those if worse comes to worse. But nevertheless, I welcome back. I that robot problem for you. Just saying. Yeah, so the thing is, Mr. Gutsy, is that you're a robot. I don't know if you realize this, but in saying that you'll take care of the robot problem for me, do you realize that you're talking about yourself? Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing... The boomers at Nellis Air Force Base in Fallout New Vegas. They don't have... The thing with Fallout New Vegas is, like, there's a lot of these big places with a lot of these big factions. But, unfortunately, there's not, like, too much stuff to do for said factions. Um, in some respects. Like, the boomers, I feel like you can get everything done in one episode. Obviously, it takes me a longer time because I'm quite verbose and just talk a lot. I think I fast travel further away than where I should have gone... Anyway, so I think we'll be able to clear out all of the boomers, everything that they have to offer in this very episode, uh, as well as get started on the other really tricky uh, faction in this game as well. I think we'll be able to do that. So let's take a look at the quest that we were doing. Uh, we've got Aunt Misbehaving. Return to Raquel and let her know that the generators are running again because we blew up those damn dirty ants. Blew them up real nice. They exploded into a very red paste. I was going to say some sort of uh, smart word involving ant. What's the study of insects? It's like end of, endonology or something like that. Anyways, that Ooh. joke has failed. So we may see our dream of flight soon. Yeah. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yeah, it's safe to go down there now. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Okay, we are idolized at the Boomers. Uh, for, with the Boomers, I should say. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Magnificent. And that is probably going to be a level up. Indeed it is. Okay. By the way... With all this leveling up and with all this obsidian stuff, I should say that we're doing a 100% playthrough, most likely of the Outer Worlds over on Twitch, if you want to watch me do that. Um, if you don't know what that is, oh boy, it's made by the same developers that did this game, and it is quite closer than you would think. It's basically Space New Vegas. Uh, we're doing a blind playthrough. I'm not sure where we're going to be at the time of you watching this video, but uh, so far I am really digging it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get my stats confused since we're, you know, leveling up and putting stats into our new uh, Outer Worlds character and then getting a perk every other level just like in this game. So we are at level 29. What do we want to max now? Medicine probably to 25. It's good to get them to little, uh, you know, little, little spots like that. 25, 50, etc. Uh, melee weapons, no. Sneak, no. Survival, unarmed. We're gonna go for just guns, I think. Although medicine would be good. You know what? Let's get medicine up to 50, honestly. Uh, those, the stim packs that we're using are not that effective. I'd like to have more oomph when I use a stim pack. Okay, so that should take care of mostly everything other than the big quest in the uh, Nellis Air Force Base. I'll, however, there is what? Look at that. That's not loading. There we go. Uh, there is one, two more things that we can do here, I believe. Uh, one of which is Argyle. Yeah, I didn't realize how tricky it was to actually find everything that you could do here. Um, because, they, yeah, you don't get quest markers to some of it. But we want to go to find Argyle. And then there's also apparently a kid that I don't even know if I ever did this. Uh, seems like a little, you know, unmarked quest sort of thing. But I saw a couple what? of kids go in here. Let's see if we can't find them. I'm, uh, let's see, who do we have here? Lindsay, I think that's who we're looking for. Hey there, mister. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Who is Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him. And I don't remember where. Okay, I'll look for him. Thanks. Let me know when you find him. Oh my god, these voices are getting harder and harder to keep up. Okay, we just got a bunch of little mini boomers. I was going to make a, sh a, a joke about shit, and I won't make that joke. <laughs> I'll spare you. Um, okay, so we, yeah, look at that. We got a little note to go find that. Um, let's see, do, do they give us any 
Lindsay, one of the boomer kids, lost her teddy bear, but she isn't sure where she lost it. Well, this is a giant Air Force base. Um, it could literally be anywhere, unless she has a house. But I don't, uh... Yeah, I wish we had a little more direction than that, but okay. Um, now we're looking for the doctor. Uh, I don't know... Well, there we are. Medical station. Okay, and this should be Argyle, I think. Hi. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. Okay. Well, I'm trying to help you, pal. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Crap, we are literally one point off. Oh, this is why. Yeah, this is why I never usually do. Uh, one point. Um, oh, you know what? We should have. An, uh, uh, sorry, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Okay, goodbye. Actually, let's reload. No, 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 no. Let's reload that autosave, which hopefully is at the start of this. Great. And then we have so many freaking magazines. I mean, come on. Um, we're looking for... I don't remember what the magazine is for medicine, but we should be able to find it somewhere. Let's see. Uh, why do we not have any... Oh, I'm in MISC. What am I doing? Okay, what is it called? I should be able to remember what it is. I mean, I'm assuming we found one. Like, come on. There we go. Yes! Okay, we have five today's physicians, which gives you medicine plus ten. So we're gonna pop one of those. Look, we're so much smarter now. Also pop the Pip-Boy light. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander. Okay, here we go. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, we're able to, like, perform high-level surgery. I have extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. I mean, I guess it's true. Wait, is that it? Uh, hi. This man appears to be severely injured. Swelling around his face and neck is interfering with his breathing. Improper treatment will kill him. Are you sure you want to treat him? Medicine 60 or higher required. Damn it, are you serious? Um... So, yeah, we don't have... It's going to be at, like, one less still, isn't it? Uh, if we go to skills, medicine is going to be at 49. But... Oh, right. No, we're, like, a whole... Okay, so we, sh we should come back here once we get one more level up. That way we can treat everybody. Uh, for now... If I haven't said it before, Outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is that you're to be greeted as a friend. I'm still looking for ways to make myself useful. There's still patients in need of treatment. Help them if you can. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a note to come back here because, yeah, we don't have... Um, I'm trying to think, will anything give us the amount of points that we need? I don't think so. Even if we pop some drugs... Which I don't think Avery is really interested in. Um, I don't think there's any way to make that happen. So the only thing is the teddy bear. And I think we already looked at the miscellaneous thing, right? Yeah, we don't know where that is. Uh, it, that is... Oh, by the way, everybody was saying that I can press Y to look at challenges. Thank you. I don't know how I missed that because I was looking for that exact sort of little button uh, context thing to say something like that. Anyways, uh, we got Jack's love story. Jack, let me know there is a girl. He is interested in Crimson Caravan. He knows that she has red hair, but that's all he knows. He'd like me to talk to her, see if she's interested in meeting him. Sounds like they weren't supposed to give us a quest marker for that. We were supposed to figure that out ourselves, but they just gave us a quest marker. And then Jack at Nellis is looking for scrap metal. He can't pay me, but earning the trust of people with that much artillery seems like a good idea. So yeah, this is a way. I think you have to give him like 50 scrap metal or something like that in order to just get the uh, Nellis reputation uh, just with scrap metal. So... Something you can do if you want. Well, folks, I have no idea where this freaking teddy bear is. Um, I guess I'll just try to locate it. And then if I can, I'll just <clears throat> figure it out. Since they didn't give me any direction whatsoever. See you all in just a second. Alrighty, so a little birdie told me that the teddy bear, teddy bear may be located in the hangars. Uh, but that's all that I... That's all the little birdie told me. They didn't tell me actually where. Yeah, a bird, like, I... I Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. No, it's, it's all good. Um, I keep my window open. Sometimes little birdies fly in here. And, uh, yeah, the one just told me, hey, it might be the hangers. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, that could be true. So I have no idea where this is. Uh, we'll just keep an eye out for it. I won't explore for too long because I don't want half the episode to be me just looking for a teddy bear. But, yeah, man, they should... I just... With stuff like this, they should really give you some sort of idea. Like, maybe she lost it in the hangars or something like that. And the hangars are big enough, you know, so that you'd have to spend some time looking for it. See, already, look, look at all the different places that it could be. It could be anywhere. 
Um, and I'm assuming it's just going to be outside, not like an actual... I'm really hoping they didn't place it, you know, inside a container, and I'm supposed to be looking in all of these containers. Take care of that robot problem for you. Yeah, again, it's just not a robot it. problem. Thank you, though. Um, oh boy, this might have to be a cut again, because I just... Look at all these different things. There's just a million things everywhere. Where a small teddy bear could be at any point. Especially right there. Mr. Cut. Oh, wow. Okay. Literally right before I was about to cut. There we go. Okay. So that's Mr. Cuddles. Sweet. Jeez. Uh, I spotted that out of the corner of my eye. I don't know how they expect anybody to figure that out organically. But there we go. There's Mr. Cuddles. Um, he's actually named Mr. Cuddles, too. Uh, a little bit. If this was Fallout New Vegas' hidden treasures, I'd be like, Hey, look, it's a unique teddy bear. Isn't that such a... Wow. Doesn't that blow your mind? Okay, where the hell were the um, bunkers? I guess all the way over there. Uh, we need to find Lindsay again. And I don't know where she is. And also, I think this does it for the boomers. I think that clears out everything for the boomers, as far as I know. Um, oh, except for the big one. We obviously still have a, uh, a big quest for the boomers. But other than that, I think that's everything. Uh, even the little unmarked stuff, like this uh, teddy bear thing here. Uh, there's the medical station. So here's the school. Oh, God, that's not creepy at all. Hi again. Have you found Mr. Cuddles? Why do we want to lie to her? Mr. Mr. Cuddles is dead? Jeez, Louise. I have Mr. Cuddles right here. Oh, thank you so much. I'll never lose you again, Mr. Cuddles. Okay, we get some boomers fame. And Mr. Cuddles is removed. We get a little tiny bit of experience. I really have to make a mental note to come back here once we have another level up so we can increase medicine up to 60. I have to remember to increase it up to 60. Also, or actually 50, because then we could use another magazine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, I think that does it for the boomers. Now, we have a question here. Do we want to start the big, big quest? Actually, in fact, can we even start the big, big quest? And that's Volaray. Yeah, Return to Pearl. Huh. I'm wondering if starting this will do anything bad. I don't think so. I don't think so, but I'm wondering if we should wait. Hmm. Man, how does this work? Because usually I never do this this early. You know what? We're going to put it on hold just in case. Yeah, just in case. And also, we're going to go back and grab a new uh, companion too. So here's the thing. Let's go back to the strip north gate. Here's the thing with this last companion. I think we've pretty much done everything for everybody else, for the most part. Arcade Ganon is a really weird you, companion. Um, he's got, his, for his, like, side quest, it's very odd. Basically, how it works is that you need to make him trust you. There's lots of different ways to do that. Uh, just kind of like Veronica's thing where you go to different places, then he'll make a little comment here and there. Um, but there's other ways, too. There's just a lot of different ways, and I think... Where to, partner? Let's go to that presidential suite, Victor. Okay, so we're gonna send EDE away. Uh, let's talk to... I know, it's sad for me, too. Uh, return base and companion continue to uh, return base? Okay, good. I, I was hoping that meant here. What? What's up? Okay, what's up, Zachary Levi? Uh, why don't we travel together? Back in your good graces again? I know you'd see the light. And we get the be better healing perk. High roller, sweet. It'd be interesting if uh, Arcade Ganon's medicine actually floor? helped us pass those speech checks, or those uh, skill checks, but I don't think that's how it works. That's how it is in the Outer Worlds, though. If you have any companions that have, you know, special skills, you can... Um, use their skills in order to pass some checks. Okay, so yeah, uh, let's see. How Arcade Ganon works is you have to do certain things to gain his trust, and then you have to activate one of the biggest, like, main quest quest triggers. Uh, and then he'll, like, sort of do something. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's he's just a really, really tricky dude. So what I think I want to do is basically travel around with him um, and hope that we start to uh, get those... Let's see, where are we going here? Get those, um, get those trust points, which, given the character that we're playing, I think it'll be doable. I think, uh, I think we'll... Yeah, I'll explain this better in just a second. Let me figure out where we're going, first of all. There is a certain place that I'd like to go to. Uh, we're looking for right around here, and then... 
Oh, man. Is this really... There it is. Vault 19. That's what I was looking for. So we're going to place a marker there. And then what is the closest thing? Man, there's two vaults like right next to each other. That's kind of interesting. Uh, what about the makeshift Great Con Camp? I wonder if that's going to be better. Mm, let's go to Vault 3 and try to head over. So anyways, yeah. I don't know. Um, the strip's not a bad place if you love terrible things. I'll never understand the allure of Oh my god, they're all back. Alright, good luck, Arcade. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run this away. And hopefully... Oh my god, that's not a great start. I'm gonna go this way, and hopefully we can actually get over... Oh boy. Let's also not miss with our very precious energy weapons ammo. Now that's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Okay, with Grim Reaper's Sprint, we can constantly use bats here. And quickly dispatch these people. Now, let's try to exit through that door right there. I did not want to tussle with all these fiends. I like how this whole area out here is just called fiend territory. Okay, let's go, Arcade. We do not want to deal with all that. All right, anyways, I'm trying to explain how, how Arcade works for the 18th time. There's some fiends over there, too, so let's give them a wide berth. Uh, anyways, oh, boy. Just liquefied. God, imagine living your whole life just for it to culminate in you turning into a pile of goop on the ground. Man, there's a perk in the Outer Worlds where companion kills give you extra experience. Uh, in this game, that would just be so OP. We already have those experience perks that are just ridiculously powerful, it seems. Okay, so we're going to walk on over to Vault 19. Um... Trying to get, like, literally a second to talk about this without something going... Without something crazy happening. If we make this shot, oh my god. Too hard to line up with a controller. I really regret not using a keyboard and mouse, but it's fine. Okay, nice job, Arcade. He, like, dispatched all those people by himself. Okay, can we have a moment of silence? Holy crap. Uh, so anyways, yeah, you need to accrue uh, companion points with Arcade just by going to different places, doing different things. I think generally, you know, if you're a good character like Avery is, um, you'll you'll be able to acquire those points without working too hard for them. Oh my god, what now? Jeez, more- who are these? Oh, powder gangers, that's not good. That's not good because of a certain reason, which I'll discuss in just a second here. Gosh dang, Arcade is just lightning, lighting these dudes up. Oh my god, explosions? Okay. Jeez. Okay, are we good? Oh my god, can I explain how Arcade works? There's also a death claw up there. Great. Um, we need to make a save before we die and have to redo all of this. Okay, so once you get enough points, once you trigger a certain main quest, you're able to do his side quest. And so, yeah, it's really, like, highly visible and weird, especially if you're going for Caesar's Legion. There's lots of, um, bad things. Find Vault 19? Oh, that's just a challenge? Okay, well, not much of a challenge, especially with Arcade Ganon. So we're gonna roll around with him for a little bit, try to get those companion points, um, and hopefully do the right things to make him trust us. That's basically what I'm trying to say, so that eventually we can get his, um, companion quest, which is an interesting one for sure. Probably a lot of people's favorites. Also, check that, st uh, check that stuff out over there in the distance. Okay, so... What I wanted to do was do Vault 19, because in my master file, there is a note that says, do this quest before we attempt what I want to do after this quest. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Vault 19, and I'm not even sure how this is going to go, considering how our Powder Ganger um, interaction just went. All right, Arcade, you ready? So yeah, anytime Arcade says any some any anything like regarding where we're at specifically, that basically is like a companion point. So if you see him, if you hear him say anything specifically about, oh, Vault 19, eh? I used to do tests here or whatever. Uh, that means we should get a point uh, at that time. All right, let's do this. Oh, I should have grabbed the thumbnail right there. Oh, well, it's fine. See, my voice is already, oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Ugh. I'm just constantly streaming, constantly recording videos. And my throat is just hurting up something fierce. Okay, so we can waltz right in. Now, once again, I have to say the thing. I don't remember the last time I did this, and I don't remember anything about this quest. So, 
yeah, this might as well be blind. Um, I really don't know what to expect here, but we'll see. Activate door. Okay, so far we just have some security cameras. I wonder if that's going to be thumbnail worthy by itself. Let's see. Got to use that zoom function there. I mean, that, that does look a little interesting, but I don't know if that's thumbnail worthy. Okay, if you could stop for me just a second. It catches the eye, I suppose. You got to get them when you can get them in Fallout New Vegas and in Oblivion. Those have been like the toughest series so far to get thumbnails. Clinic that way, Overseer's office that way. Uh, what? Overseer's that way, Overseer's that way. Can you make up your mind? Let's go this way. Hello? Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. I'm just another wastelander looking for work. There's some fire geckos in the lower levels of the vault. We need to get them gone so we can get to the sulfur. You go clear them out for us, and there'll be some caps for you. What do you want the sulfur for? Explosives. Bombs. Big, big fucking bombs. You gonna help us or not? Jeez. Um, why can't you do it? I have to keep an eye out on that bastard limp. The second I turn my back, he might go crying to the NCR. So what do you say? You going to take care of those geckos? Well, hold the phone. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to know? What's going on here? Why are you people in this vault? That coward Lim has been talking about surrendering to the NCR. Now the men are confused, not sure who's leading this gang. Fucking idiots. That is a lot of F-words for YouTube, friend. Who's Lim? He was an inmate like the rest of us. He was useful during the jailbreak, but now... He's just another coward. He wants us to leave the vault and hand our asses to the NCR, as if they treat us like human beings. Tell me about the prison break. A beautiful thing. Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day, I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. You could say you, um, cooked something up. <laughs> you guys, you guys and gals watching, you know, so what brought you to this place? Heard there was an abandoned vault along this mountain ridge, and that the wildlife here had teeth big enough to keep the NCR away. Why is the area so dangerous? It's a fucking death trap around here. Fiends swarm all over Vault 3 in the east, and there are fucking death claws south of that at Quarry Junction. If you're looking for humans, the cons are north of us, and there's an NCR base at McCarran past Vault 3. Supposedly, there are muties to the southeast. Oh boy, this is like, okay. Uh, we'll run through this quickly. Tell me about the fiends. Like raiders, but worse. These guys are messed up on every damn Kim there is. You can spot them by the horn skulls they wear as hats. Tell me about Quarry Junction. The NCR has been mining there for a while, but now it's full of death claws. Don't go there unless you want a quick, bloody death. Yeah, we're gonna have to go there for some stuff, though. Tell me about the super mutants. I've heard the muties there are different, completely insane, and supposedly they use some kind of invisibility technology. I'd stay away. Nah, that's all hearsay. Tell me about Camp McCarran. It's the main base for the NCR, and a breeding ground for oppression in the name of patriotic bullshit. Do humanity a favor and blow it up. Right, and in favor of, like, living in a vault around, like, murderers and then making bombs. Yeah, no, yeah, the NCR's so bad. Why do you hate the NCR so much anyway? Their republic is a joke. They're a bunch of tyrants led by an even greater tyrant, that idiot Kimball. They think they have the right to annex every inch of dirt in the West and force their system on every man, woman, and child. Tell me about Lem. He was an inmate like the rest of us. He had his uses, but he's a coward and a troublemaker. Who are you? Who are you? You really don't know. I'm Samuel Cook. I was the brains behind the NCRCF prison break. How did you end up in prison? I was blowing up supply caravans along the 15 freeway. The NCR got wise to my ambush spots, picked me up and threw me in a cage. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, let's go find Lem, because it sounds like Lem might give us another option here. Open red sector door requires key. That's interesting. I genu genuinely, I have no idea if I've ever completed this quest before, and I'm just wondering, what the hell was I doing in my first... There's two overseer offices. What the hell? Yeah, genuinely, I'm wondering what the hell I was doing in my first, like, all-encompassing playthrough. I don't remember any of this. I just must have never done Vault 19. What in the world? You're not one of us. What do you want? 
What's going on around here? Fucking Cook has us trapped here. After we escaped from an NCR prison, he dragged us around the wasteland until we ended up in this shithole. A group of us want to leave. Go back to the NCR and surrender. But Cook won't let us. I mean, why do you have to surrender? Can't you just kind of, like, leave and then take on a new identity? Are they really keeping tabs on everybody? Like, why don't you just get a different set of clothes, you know? Let's talk about something else. Alright. What do you want to know? Tell me about Cook. Cook is just an overambitious prick. He's gonna get us all killed. Who are you? I'm a nobody. Just a survivor. Things were well enough until the NCR threw me behind bars. What did you do? I made my living sneaking into NCR camps looking for shit to steal. I got sloppy, and then I got caught. How did you get out? Made it out during Cook's big prison break. Like the rest of the guys here. Who's Cook? Yeah, you just literally told me. Tell me about the prison break. We already know about that. Okay, so got any work? If you can find a way to cut off access to the sulfur in the caves below the vault, I've got some caps waiting for you. Why would you want to do that? Cook is planning to use the sulfur to make bigger explosives. You check out the caves and see if there's anything you can do. Without access to the sulfur, he'll lose what influence he has left with the men here. Yes. Thanks. Take his keycard. I tried hacking the locking mechanisms on the doors, but it seems the only way in is with one of these. Goodbye. Later. And that's interesting, too, because there's been, um, there were key cards in Fallout 1 and 2 as well, like red, yellow, blue. So I'm wondering if that's just, like, kind of a throwback to that. Okay, this is the quest we were looking for. Why can't we? No, my voice hurts too much for that right now. Thank you very much. Why can't we be friends? Find a way to cut off access to the sulfur. So I think we are going to side with Lem here. And genuinely, I have no memory of this whatsoever. I'm just wondering, did I never do this? I... I want to really go back to my first New Vegas playthrough and just, like, observe what the hell I was doing. Because I swear to God, I thought I looked up everything, made sure I did every quest, made sure I found everything. And now I'm wondering, what did I actually do? Uh, that cannot... Okay, so what about this? Alright, so here we have quarters. That noise scared Never me. Gets old when something blows up. Yeah, interesting. Uh, we've got a terminal here. A message from the Overseer. Greetings, residents. We regret to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix this problem. However, until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limited and report directly to the clinic if you begin to feel ill in any way. I've been reading the bulletin boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us, one of the reds pretending to be a blue. They are using the bulletin boards to communicate. I believe they want me to see it. Oh, this is it. Okay, so if you don't know about vaults and Fallout, by the way, they're all designed to be like scientific experiments, okay? So I, yeah, this vault is completely escaping me. It almost feels like a DLC that was added, because I have no memory, as I keep saying. So the thing is, yeah, I was wondering if this was the case. So it looks like they set up one half of the vault to be just for like one group of people. They basically segregated it, and like, I guess, reds versus blues. Red versus blue. Haha, <laughs> hey! Title of the episode. Um, so yeah, this is really funny and interesting. I wonder how this story plays out. I've noticed one of the lights flickering past the door in the Red's hallway. I believe it to be Mor Morose? Morose code? Morse code, you mean? From what I can tell, it's an SOS. So it sounds like, yeah, they were messing with people, and, uh, this whole thing had a lot of paranoia, it seems. Toy box? Interesting. So yeah, we're definitely gonna get the story of this place, because I'm genuinely curious. Now, where are we trying to actually head to, though? Any lawman that comes out. A lot of these people are just escaped convicts, so they're not gonna. Any anybody that just has a name like Settler, it's not gonna have any dialogue. Nine times out of ten. Yeah, so that's most of these people. We got a Vault 19 locker with a Vault 19 jumpsuit, which is melee weapons plus two and speech plus two, which would make sense, I guess. Speech in terms of um, manipulating people. Also, blue sector key card. Thank you very much. And another terminal. Now, this is the same message. I couldn't sleep a few nights ago, so I stayed up reading. Around 1.30 in the morning, the vent above my bed began to push out more air than usual. It lasted for about five minutes, then turned off. I did not think much of it at the time, but I had trouble falling asleep again 
last night. Once again, around 1.30 a.m., the vents turned off for about five minutes and turned off. Yeah, so everybody's getting hyper paranoid here, it would seem. I've been getting headaches. I think someone is poisoning us. I've been up every night this week, and night after night, an extra burst of air comes through the vents. It lasts for about five minutes, and then turns off. I spoke with one of the neighbors. He said he noticed the same thing in his room as well. We made a report to the maintenance officer. He informed us that the system was running perfectly, and that there was nothing to, be wor nothing to worry about. I don't believe him. Maybe he's in on it. Man, so I'm wondering, did these people just develop this paranoia naturally, or were they actually, like, pumping paranoia chemicals in the air? Wouldn't put it past Vault Tech. Now, where the heck are we trying to go? Yet another terminal. Yet another blue sector key card. Oh my god, are you serious? I don't trust that doctor. She has bodyguards. What kind of doctor has bodyguards? I don't see... I've seen the guards bring her meals. I don't think she ever leaves her office. There's always one posted outside at night, too. I wonder what she's hiding. I've been working with a friend. He's trying to hack into the doc's computer, and so far we haven't had much luck. It took some convincing, but I finally got him to show me what he found on the doc's computer. He was right. I wouldn't like it. The patient files look like those from an asylum. The patient names were all in code, but some of them seem to fit the people around us. But they can't... They, they can't be us. I don't remember being insane. I think I would remember something like that. But it must be true. It explains the doctor's behavior and the bodyguards. I don't know why I can't remember. It must be that doctor. Maybe she's drugging us? I need to get into that office. Did they literally have, like, copies of each other? Like, like, split in the Shivering Isles? Maybe I am insane. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe the war never happened. And maybe I'm just trapped in my head. It took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to get in and do some looking around. Found restraints and enough sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us to make us forget. We're just pawns in her sick game. We confiscated the doctor today. Confronted the doctor today. She refused to give us any information. We were thrown out of the clinic, some of us quite literally. We tried talking to the overseer, but acted as if he didn't know anything about it. I don't believe him, I don't trust him, and I don't trust any of them. Jeez, what is happening here? I want to go explore the red side to see what their take is. Maybe they're, like, totally sane. Yeah, um, I, I love the fact that a lot of this playthrough just feels blind. Even though I don't think it is, but, man, I just don't even know at this point. Um, so the last thing before we end this episode, let's go check out the clinic. Because now I'm curious. So the clinic is this way. Man, th God, talk about being confused. This one is really going to confuse me. Okay, this would indicate that this is going to be the clinic here. Yeah, just a lot of toys everywhere, which is weird. Um, a desk and... Oh, we could just take this stuff. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Nothing in the desk. And the terminal is broken. Okay, here we go. Some good stuff back here, guaranteed. Doctor's bag. Stim pack. We have a today's physician, a hidden, ooh, a hidden holotape here, a holotape there, another do another doctor bag, doctor's bag. Um, doesn't look like anything left on the table. Okay, we got a couple of first aid boxes here. Thank you. Definitely want that right away. Thank you. A uh, metal box with nothing. Two stim packs. Yoink, yoink. And some crutches. Another, ooh, another holotape. Okay, medical brace. And can we get a fourth holotape, maybe? We sure freaking can. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, We're going to listen to these. Let's see, can we spot any more? Okay, I'll do my best. Your best is always good enough, Arcade. You're the, oh, look at that. Okay, that's five. I, if I was a developer here, I would definitely put around five in here. So I'm going to assume that's all of them. I'll double check to make sure. But we're going to end this here and listen to all of those if we can. Or maybe it's just text in the next one. I really need a Ricola. Ricola. My uh, throat is hurting severely. So we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching this series. Thank you so much for supporting it. Um, going to be real with you. I could use any support at all in terms of just, you know, liking the video, sharing the video if you want to do that. Or, you know, if you want to go the extra mile, become a patron. Anything like that uh, really, really, really would be uh, helpful. And I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you to the people doing that. And um, if you want to start doing that, uh, like I said, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll continue this in the next one where I am very excited and interested to see what is on these holotapes. Because I genuinely have no idea. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.
Hey, it's me, GV. If you want to watch more of my content, I also stream on Twitch. The current schedule and link is below. And if you want to support me in what I do, Patreon is the best way. You get some perks. The link is also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching what I do, and I will see you next time.